welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and I make videos on all things lifestyle and design. I am a huge fan of do-it-yourself home decor, mostly because I'm super cheap, but also it's a lot of fun. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a really easy and affordable solution for wall art, and I'm going to show you how to frame it yourself. It's going to be abstract, it's going to be minimal, it's going to be textured, but most of all, it's going to look really good and cost a fraction of what you'd pay for it in a store somewhere. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk about what you're going to need for this project. The first thing you need is a canvas. I got this set of seven 12 by 12 canvases from Michaels for $10.99. I'm going to be using four canvases for my project and framing them side by side. The next thing you need is some sheetrock or plaster. I got this from my local home improvement store for less than $4. Then you are going to need something to apply the plaster with. If you don't have actual tools for this, you can use whatever you have around the house as long as it has a flat edge. Lastly, if you want to add something extra, find an object that has some grooves in it. I decided to test out plastic silverware and this dog grooming comb that my dog will never let me use on her. Before you start working, it's important to always protect your work surface. Lord knows I've skipped this step one too many times, and trust me, you will regret it. Now we're ready to get to work. All you're really going to do is slap some plaster on the canvas and push it around. You really can't screw this up, people. Now, I know you thought I was crazy, and I'm not going to disagree with you there, but this is where the dog grooming comb really comes in handy. I used it to give me some really cool lines in my canvas. You also want to make sure that you wipe any excess plaster off the edges so it won't interfere with the frames later. One thing that's great about this project is that it's super forgiving. If you put way too much freaking plaster on there like I did, you can just take some off, smooth it out, and start over. So I just kept playing around with it until I got a thickness and texture that I was happy with. One thing I realized that I really liked was using the comb to give the canvas some lines, but then going back over it and smoothing it out in some spots. This made it so that the lines just peeked through instead of overtaking the whole canvas. Now that we're done with that, let's let those dry and start working on our frames. If you are using the same size canvases that I am, you will need six four foot pieces of one by two pine boards. I got these for about $15. Depending on what you wanna do with your frame, you will need some kind of paint or stain, or you can just leave them as is. I bought this stain in the Shane Weathered Oak but ended up not using it. You'll see why later. You're also going to need something to adhere the frame to the canvas. I intended on using nails, but found the adhesive worked just as well. Now, in terms of tools, you're gonna to need a hammer and a saw. Before I cut my wood, I laid the pieces next to a canvas to measure the exact lengths that I would need. These are 12 by 12 canvases, so two sides are gonna be exactly 12 inches, and the other two will be a little longer. I believe mine were about 13 and a quarter. Then it was time to cut. If you are doing four canvases like me, you will need 16 pieces total. This part of the project was by far the most time consuming. It was a lot of measuring and a lot of cutting. But hey, I only cut a board too short once, so that's a personal record. Once all the pieces were cut, I sanded down the cut edges and smoothed them out. I brought all the pieces back upstairs and decided to test my stain on a scrap piece, and I'm so glad I did. The stain didn't end up looking at all what I thought it was going to look like. It was thin and gray and just not pretty at all. Granted, I was also applying it with a paper towel and probably not doing it right. I ended up deciding to paint my frames black, which actually matches my decor a lot better anyways. Once the frames were painted, I became really impatient and took a hairdryer to my canvases. Do not do this. It was stupid and it made my plaster crack in a couple spots. So try to be better than me. Before I assembled the frames, I just laid them out to make sure that they were gonna fit properly. I then used E6000 adhesive to stick the frame to the canvas. I applied a thin line to the frame and then held the canvas on there tightly until it dried a little bit. For good measure, I reinforced the frames with nails. 
Once they were assembled, I went back in with my paint to touch up any areas that needed a little extra attention. Because I'm a general mess of a human being, there were some plaster spots on my frames that I had to cover up. And there you have it, super easy and affordable wall art. I'm so happy with how it turned out and for a fraction of the price. I mean, look at the price tag of this one. That's crazy. Why spend that when you can do it yourself and get results like this? Trust me, if I can do this, anyone can. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you end up recreating this wall art, make sure to tag me on Instagram at officially Brittany Nicole so I can check it out. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks!